Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Snowboard Car Guy channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the tools that I had to acquire in order to work on my BMWs. Most of these are a must have if you wanna do any of your own work, do your own maintenance, or even swap an engine like I did. So if you're anything like me and you love BMWs, but don't really wanna spend thousands of dollars, you know, taking your car to a dealer or even an independent shop, this is where you're gonna need. Obviously, you're not gonna need all of this at the same time, but it's a good idea to have at least some of the essentials that I'm gonna highlight in order for you to uh, be able to do a job on the spot if you need to. To be clear, this doesn't mean that working on BMWs is any more difficult than working on any other car. It just means that you're gonna have to have some somewhat specialized tools that a lot of European makes are using that you may not have already have if you, you know, you're used to working on Japanese or uh, maybe American cars. So what you're looking at now is most of the tools that I've acquired working on my BMWs over the past couple of years. I've had a Z4, I had a 335E92, I have an F10 550 right here, as well as a Mini Cooper, which is considered a BMW as well. So I've been doing a lot of projects, swapped an engine in this car, and a lot of other things. So it's not a huge amount of tools for the amount of work I've actually done to these cars. The first item on my list is a basic mechanic socket set. So as you can see, I have this Husky toolbox that I got from Home Depot on Black Friday for around $120. Now, it may not be the best quality tool set that you can imagine, but it definitely has a lot of things that I'm gonna need. It has all of the sockets, especially the metric ones. You definitely will need a lot of metric sockets and wrenches and everything else. Most of the stuff on this car is metric. You're gonna need a lot of 10s and 8s, especially for a lot of the pieces on the car, a lot of the trim pieces, to, so to remove any of the stuff like under the body or remove anything on top of the engine, the little uh, plastic brackets, you will need a lot of those uh, 8 and 10 millimeter sockets. And I would definitely recommend getting a big set like this as it's a very economical option. You get all of these tools, over 300 tools for only $120 or so. Uh, this way you don't have to go out and buy, you know, a separate metric set, a separate standard set, and then, you know, different sizes here and there. Like all of the stuff just comes in the set. It's definitely important that your set includes different sizes of ratcheting wrenches. As you can see, you have a quarter inch, three eighths and a half inch as well as a swiveling head one. The reason I wanna have a lot of different sizes is because there's a lot of tight spaces in the car that you may not be able to get in with the big one. So you might need a smaller one. But then on the other hand, you may not be able to have enough torque to get it off with a small one. And if you have enough space, you can just use a slightly bigger one that will allow you to have the, you know, the torque necessary to take that bolt off. It's also crucial to have a variety of extensions that will allow you to get into tighter spaces or somewhere where you couldn't just reach with a normal socket. One of those cases would be when you're doing spark plugs on your car. Uh, the spark plugs are really deep inside the engine, so you're gonna need those extensions as well as a specialized uh, spark plug socket. As you can see, it has a lot more points and a special um, rubber inside to grab the spark plug and thin walls where it will actually get inside uh, you know, the hole inside the engine. Another important tool to have is a breaker bar. So if you have really difficult to take off bolts or you wanna swap the wheels or anything like that, this is a lot easier than using you know, stuff that came with your car and it will actually allow you to take that bolt off. On the other hand, if you're working with a bolt that requires a lot of torque just to be put on, such as the crankshaft bolt, you may need to use one of these to get the leverage in order to put that bolt on. You will also then use a torque wrench angler gauge tool in order to uh, get it to the proper torques. To finish up with the basics, you might wanna get one of these work lights to hang off the ceiling. Super convenient, you can pull it to any location in the garage, you know, when you're working underneath or just need to get a closer look at something. Really, really useful. I like to do all my work to spec, so it's really important for me to have torque wrenches. I have a smaller one for, you know, putting on sensors and things like that, where it doesn't require a lot of torque, but you still wanna be precise. Or use this bigger one for, you know, up to 100 pound feet of torque or whatever it may be for those bigger bolts and bigger jobs. What I've showed so far is pretty common and I expect a lot of people to have that at home already. However, the next set of tools that I'm showing you is a little bit more specific towards European cars 
uh, and especially BMWs. As you can see, I have a lot of torque sockets. So these are the internal torque sockets. I have, uh, you know, this entire set that I got on Amazon, as well as this set for, uh, you know, some bigger, bigger stuff. I got that at Pittsburgh, uh, as well as the E, uh, e torque socket. So these are the external, right? So I have the smaller and the bigger set. You have to realize that a lot of a lot of bolts on this car are going to be using uh, Torx. Torx, Torx, Torx. They're everywhere. You will absolutely need these in order to do most of the jobs on a BMW. A hex bit socket is not nearly as common, but still pretty useful. Now, these aren't a must, but when I was changing the water pump on my Mini Cooper, uh, I found these super, super helpful as you can swivel the heads of these wrenches which makes it a lot easier to get to some bolts as well as these uh offset wrench uh, wrenches as well something else that's kind of unique and you may not be able to purchase just at a local uh, parts store is an oil filter wrench uh, this one's an 86 millimeter 16 flutes and you can't find them at autozone or o'reilly's or anything like that i have to order them uh, online you definitely want to have one of these otherwise it can be a huge huge pain just to take the air filter off next item on my list is a low profile jack as well as a couple or four jack stands uh, this will make your life a lot easier you know it allows you to lift the car so much faster uh, so much higher and it slides under the car since it's a profile low profile jack you're not going to have any issues under you know low slung cars now the jacks themselves, the jack stands are super important to have as they're a safety measure and you definitely, definitely want to make sure you use them. Even if you do a simple oil change or anything like that, you want to put them under the car and keep the car from, you know, falling or even slowly dropping on you. If let's say a hydraulic pump or whatever fails in the jack. Uh, do you really have to have a, you know, a fancy jack? No, not really, but uh, it does speed up the jobs a lot. The next item on my list is a code scanner. Now, these tools are super, super helpful as they can, of course, you know, check for codes and you can see what's going on with the car, but you can also reset uh, different service alerts. Uh, if you know, you change oil, you change brakes, whatever you might be doing, you can easily reset it with both of these tools. Now, in addition to that, this Autel NT200, AP200 will also uh, program keys it will uh, do injector programming it does so many so many things that you will really find this useful uh, it's only 50 or 60 dollars on amazon and this one's around the same age uh, the reason i have two is that this one's a lot faster but it's a lot less capable this one's a little bit slower but it works with your phone so you can do um, you know a lot more things through the app and you can purchase licenses for different cars uh, you can program batteries actually, very helpful. I would also recommend having a vacuum pump such as this one. It was only $20 on Amazon, but it allows you to adjust, you know, wastegate uh, actuators. Uh, you can bleed your brakes with this. You can do so many things. It's really useful, very cheap, get one. If you own an older BMW, you might wanna get a compression tester just to make sure that your engine's healthy and in good condition. If you're going to be doing a lot of wrenching on the car, I would definitely recommend getting an impact wrench or an impact driver or at least one of these screw guns that will allow you to take off a lot of the smaller bolts, smaller uh, screws off a lot, a lot faster. You don't have to spend, you know, 10 minutes taking off a bolt if you can do this in a few seconds. Uh, this one's a little bit better because it can take off much larger bolts. However, it is bigger, so it's more difficult to get into places. Uh, these little things, I love them. They are really, really quick. They last forever and I can take off bolts within seconds. Just wanted to add one more item and it's this uh, clip remover. You're gonna love it. I've used, you know, screwdrivers and all kinds of different things before and I would break half of them or just wouldn't be able to get them out. This thing gets them out super easy. You just put it underneath, leverage it and it's done. And if you do break it, Get one of these kits, it was like eight bucks on Amazon, and you're gonna have every kind of clip that you will ever need. To be very, very clear, of course, you don't have to purchase all of these tools, you know, at the same time. Purchase tools as you need them. 
As an example, this is a timing chain uh, tool that will allow you to set the timing on the N20 engine. I needed this because I was changing the timing chain in my car, but if you're not doing that job, you don't have to get tools like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.